Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. Today we are starting north of Terran Mill. And we're going to see if we can work on Syndicate Assassins. Just to review, uh, we'll go ahead and read this again. I am the new magistrate of South Shore, recently assigned after the assassination of the previous magistrate. The assassins were never found, but through our investigations we're almost certain they were hired by the Syndicate. A group of thieves led by villainous nobles of the now fallen kingdom of Alterac. The Syndicate has a camp north of the horde occupied Terran Mill, and our last clues led to that camp. And we're just going to hopefully kill a bunch of them. We need footpads and thieves. And this looks like north of Terran Mill. We've seen some of these guys already. But those were further into the Alterac Mountains. I guess we're not going up that way. I've been trying to get our axe skill leveled up on some gray monsters as I've been traveling. We're at 117. Will that give us enough chance to hit an at level mob? We might find out. And of course, because of all my killing and looting, our inventory is full. Having a lot of inventory issues recently. It's probably time to upgrade bags, but being short on gold as we are, I'm just not sure the best way to do that. I could check the auction house and see if anything is available for a reasonable price. Because having some 12 slot bags would be pretty ideal at this point if we could find them for cheap. Uh, these are wizards, thieves, which we need. Okay, so there are thieves here, some wizards in this camp. And I'm wondering, there must be multiple camps up here, but probably not much closer to this horde outpost, I wouldn't think. I mean, I guess technically we are in the Alterac Mountains now already. Here's a footpad. Maybe the footpads are going to be more scattered out. Let's see what we could do here with our axe. If we need to, we'll just jump back over to the sword. Which we might need to to finish her up, but I want to get as many skill ups as we can. We're going to get skill ups easier off of an at level mob than off of a gray mob. Say, so if we can get Ren going, that'll at least be some damage. But we probably need to pop our sword on now. And actually take care of this. No doubt she's going to run. Let's back her up. Not bad. Not bad. I think once we get the axe at level and actually hitting consistently, we'll be okay. Why are we stuck in combat? A lot of people gathered here for this one little camp. It's not very inspiring as to our odds of getting these guys with any haste. That was a little scary. Have some horde players camped out up here. This is not a PvP server. Where else could we look? It's surprising that it would just be this one camp. 
Maybe we go check the hills beyond the road? I mean, technically that's sort of north of Terran Mill. I, I do see some tents up there in the distance, I think. I'm sure if we were looking for the mountain lions or something else, we these guys would be all over us and now we're just not going to be able to find them. We've discovered Karan's dagger. Well, we have action up here. Yep, here we go. Foot pad. So we have two known camps. This one looks like it's got more mobs in it. Ooh, and back here, we need this regular mountain lion. So we can check back there for mountain lions. But this is a good spot. We'll go back to the sword. This guy is, uh, this guy's serious. We're at 123 on the axe. In the future, I'll try to be better about keeping all of our weapon types at the appropriate level, or, or closer at least. We, we hadn't used an axe at all, so... I'm tempted to pull her back. I'm going to do that to be safe, even though I really want the extra rage. Probably just better to stay in defensive stance while we're trying to get our axe level up. These guys are no slouches. That's why I'd really love to keep this equipped. Because it's a little bit more damage than what we have on. Yikes, we actually have a ways to go. Maces is looking pretty weak as well. You can tell we've been favoring swords. It's just because that's what we started with. Um, we need to work on that more. That's actually a little concerning. For some reason I thought we were at a 130 cap, but we must have leveled. Obviously we've leveled. And that obviously raised the skill cap, so... I wasn't chasing 130, I didn't know it, but we were chasing 160. That explains a bit. Looks like they took out our... Oh, they didn't. They got the hulking one. Let's see if we can tag this... regular old mountain lion. Eventually we'll actually start hitting with it, but that might not be for a while. And we're not getting a ton of skill ups.
And we're definitely getting our asses handed to us. We just capped out with swords, that's hilarious. It's like mocking us. That is going to take a while. If that's going to be every single combat. I think I'm going to do a Razor Fen Crawl run pretty soon. And I'm just hoping we get some gear. We don't have a neck at all. We need a second ring. Our first ring is crap. Um, we just have a lot of gear that we need to replace. With better, better gear. So... At least, if we're going to be fighting at level mobs, we, we need better gear. Now we're starting to hit a little bit. It's promising. Definitely want to be backing these guys up. Getting, I'm getting better about remembering to hamstring prior to them. Run oh, mage weave, nice. Prior to them running away, that reminds me. I really have to go and find the trainer for our first aid. According to Wowhead, he's down here somewhere. And yes, this one I did look up because I thought I knew where he was and I went to Theramore and that wasn't the guy I needed. That was like the next guy we need. And then having no idea where to find him on the Alliance, I looked it up and it said he was in like a really weird spot um, in Arathi. Highlands, so I'll have to do that. We really need to be using these. We could probably make like silk and then heavy silk and we our bandaging game would be that just much more efficient. I'm sure it's driving some of you guys crazy. It drives me crazy when I remember it. These guys disarm, these thieves do at least. That's not going to help us skill up a weapon if we're just totally disarmed. We've been disarmed so often that our unarmed skill is actually 111. That's pretty funny when you think about it. And you can't switch your weapons while you're disarmed. Like, if you try to switch weapons while you have the disarm debuff, like I just did, it doesn't let you switch weapons. Alright, we've got to get it together here. Oh, that was close. Oh, we died! <laughs> he must have had a poison or something on us. Hilarious. Well, we've been slowly pecking away at these guys, as you can see by our kill totals, and we just got into a group of two other people, a hunter and a mage, so... Should make this go a little bit faster now. And then we've also taken care of some mountain lions. We need two more of those.
That's the last foot pad we need, but we'll stick with these guys and just see what we can get here. Are there any... No, there are no... No thieves in the camp. Oh, one thief. Our axe skill is up to 145, which means that we're hitting most of the time. I don't know if we're yet dealing the max damage we can do with it, but we are... We are hitting with it. So I think from here on out, we're, we're going to leave it equipped. Especially while we're in this group. Maybe we're not hitting. <laughs> it seemed like we were hitting. It was probably our group mates dealing damage. Two more to go. It's not bad. I kind of wish we'd have found these guys earlier, but there wasn't anyone up here for a while. I've been clearing them by myself, slowly and cautiously and boringly. We may just wait for this camp to respawn, I suppose. I don't know what the respawn time is going to be like. I don't see any others. We had cleared most of them around the camp right before these guys showed up and invited us to their group. Although I could stand to grab myself a regular lion, it just seems like we only have hulking lions available at the moment, which we don't need anymore. These guys seem content just to wait it out. Here we go. That's a thief. Well, we only need one more thief. And we'll stick around until we see him. These guys had just entered the area. So they probably need quite a few more than us. Oh, we need that though. That's a big help. Gonna run back here and check the lions again. We could check the other camp. I mean, we could just wait for this one to respawn. It wouldn't take that long, but... I'm actually... I actually don't really care for that move, just because... I need my last mountain lion, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go grab this, I think. I don't know if there are mountain lions by the other camp or not. But I'd rather just grab this guy and be done with this quest, just in case there are not. And we can go up here and grab our last thief. Wow, 
Well, that was the plan at least. I hope we get this guy with the rend. Yeah, let's get him and see if maybe we can drop aggro on this guy. I've learned that we can't take two of them on. So maybe we will run over here. How far are they? Not too far. I'm not sure if there were thieves over on that side. I remember seeing wizards and footpad bodies. But they're definitely killing something because we just got experience for it, so... That will do. That's our last thief. Let's see if we can get in there and actually participate now. Alright, that's all we need from up here. Let's go back to Stormwind and get these turned in. This must be the one for the coot for the mountain lions, costly menace. What can I do for you? Ain't that great news? Should have gone and found me a regular old war hero from day one to take care of them beast. You'd have made your pappy proud. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, let's just take the leather gloves. They're both leather. Let's just take the gloves and sell them. Have a good one. 2700 experience, not bad. And then Syndicate Assassins turns in inside the Town Hall building. Well met. Thank you. Although they may still be lurking about, we hope that some of the thieves and footpads you slew were responsible for l the last magistrate's death. But even if they weren't, the syndicate is a taint on this land and a stain on the human race. Their deaths are welcome to South Shore. That's pretty grim, but I guess I understand. Uh, here's a belt upgrade. We can certainly use that. I have so many things I have to put on the auction house. Um, even if I sell them all for like one gold apiece or even half a gold apiece... I think I need to do that because we have a lot of stuff and we don't have a lot of gold so that's gonna happen today I think all right and neither of those chained into anything so what we could do is we do have a quest to go to Stormwind for our old buddy um, fair well this is yeah Farron's report we're gonna go see Major Samuelson and see if we can get our drinking buddy reassigned I don't know that he deserves it We've killed Murlocs for him, and Naga, among other things. Basically, we've done his job for him since day one. And now we're going to see if we can get him reassigned, so. It'd be cool if we can reveal him for just being totally lazy and absent in his job. That'd be funny. Light be with you. So let's take a long ride down to South Shore. Light. I love the long flights because I can go get some coffee while I'm in flight. See you guys there. And so if you guys are interested, here's what I'm doing with all of our all of our buy all of our bind on equip stuff. Actually, this we didn't put a buyout price. That's probably not good. Let's just see what happens with that. Uh, the shoulders, I put it two gold just because I know that sometimes shoulders are hard for people to find and these are perfect for any caster. They just have eight intellect, which is quite a bit of intellect. Everything else I put up for mere silvers. But, you know, if we sell some of the stuff, that would be really helpful. Seeing as how we only have six gold. Which, if I visit the trainer, probably isn't going to be enough to even train all the abilities that we need. 
And stopping by the trainer would be a good idea because we're on our way to Stormwind Keep. So on the way, we'll stop at the Warrior Trainer and just take a look at our skill list and possibly shed some tears over our complete lack of funds. Now the trainers aren't in the keep, I don't think. The trainers are back here in the barracks. No, this is SI7. Maybe the trainers are actually back in the barracks. That would almost make sense. But maybe they're in the command center. That actually makes more sense. Usually I visit the trainer in Darnassus. And I know exactly where they're at. Um, no? Oh, here we go. What can I do for you? <laughs> well, uh, we need heroic strike. That would be nice. We don't need cleave right now. Execute, battle shouts. Battle shout we need. Execute we need. Hamstring we need. And we're broke. For the alliance. But we should be outputting some more damage now. Especially with that level of heroic strike. Battle Shout, that next level of that will help us as well. Uh, but we're broke, so, you know, Silver Linings notwithstanding, we need to start making some serious money. Now, saying that and doing that are two different things, right? If I start getting better about putting those greens, it all depends on if those greens sell. If we could sell greens for like 40 to 60 silver, then that's great. It's hard to put things up when it's only going to sell for 20 or 30 silver, you know. But I guess with enough of that, we'll have to do what we have to do. People just don't have a lot of gold to spend, so you don't make a lot. We could put up stacks of silk for 60 silver a piece, but it just doesn't seem worth it. Especially looking at having to level up our first aid still. Looks like this guy is off in the northwestern wing up here. Little baby Anduin. Hello. Uh, you're... At well, spoiler alert, but I'm fairly certain this is actually a dragon. King's honor, friend. And then Bolvar. Poor Bolvar. Okay. Let's head back here. Bolvar, aka current Lich King. How are you? What's this? Ah. So, my attentive pupil has applied himself to the problem of the Naga and South Shore. Thank you for bringing this to me. I will certainly take into account when I review personnel assignments the next month. Yeah, he did a lot of work. See you later. Hey, at least it got us our level. That's super exciting. You know, something I was thinking about... We have a quest... Uh, to go get Berserker Stance. That we could do pretty soon. And I was thinking about respecking. I was thinking about either checking out arms or putting more points into Fury and kind of doing a different build for a while. I know we wanted to go the whole way protection, but I feel like we have a long way to go. 
until we get to level 60 and we might as well try a couple of different things on the way. So let me know what you guys think. If you have a damage dealing build, I would like to try some dual wielding once we get once we get Fury Stance. If we do that next, if we go get Fury Stance right away, we have a couple of one-handers that, you know, they aren't the best, but they're actually pretty good for this level. So we could use our sword and our axe, and we could do some dual wielding for a while, and just check that out for a bit. It could be a refreshing change of pace. And who knows, we might actually really enjoy it, or, or we could go with a two-hander. So let me know what you guys think as far as if we should try a two-hander, or try two one-handers and go with a dual wield. And then let me know if you have any ideas on a talent spec for either of those. Just interested to know what you guys think. Alright, this is a good place to take a break. We'll park it here with the Royal Court. And next time we pick up, we'll go do this warrior quest and we'll check that out. It should be really cool. That's actually down south of Ratchet, but I have the Ratchet flight point, so we are in luck there. Thank you guys so much for the support. It really means a lot to me. And take care. We'll see you again really soon. Bye now.